Okay. What's up, guys? We are getting ready for Emerald Cup weekend. So I need to go up to the office real quick. I had some stuff set aside for me there. I need to get some event stuff. Then we're going to go down to the venue. The event is tomorrow, but I thought, let's go. They let you go in a day early to check it out and everything. So not if you're not a vendor and don't have a booth. You cannot just walk in. But I'm going to go ahead, go down there, check everything out, see how it is going. And yeah, I have not gone to this side of Oakland that it's on in a minute. So kind of nervous. My car is as empty as it could be. And this isn't just like to scare people about Oakland. There are nice parts of Oakland. And yes, if you have money, you can do whatever you want and get through anything. There are very nice homes that will never get touched because they are so gated and securityed up. But the average everyday person living in downtown Oakland does not have that luxury. And one in 30 vehicles right now, as what I saw on the news, I'll try to see if I can insert that in here, is being hit in Oakland. And I have been hit in Oakland before, so I'm not afraid that that's going to happen. I know it's going to happen if I am stupid enough. Okay. Hopefully this fan that I have too, I have a little mini fan, is not too loud. If it is, deal with it. I just it's hot. I just took a shower. It's steamy. So we are going to roll. Which one is this? We have a lighter one. This one. All right. It's just, just did a little bit of moisturizer. That was the first step. This is not a makeup tutorial. This is me just. Doing my makeup. And do your makeup however you guys want to. I am not at the stage where I want to put on a ton of like foundation on as in like liquid foundation. I really like these cream sticks because especially for me I have mixed oily skin. For some reason these seem to do the best. This one is the Bobbi Brown one. And Bobbi Brown has just been my favorite lately. I've gone through so many brands. Some foundations just break me out. But not this Bobbi Brown. And we're doing a light, light coverage. Really for me, it's about my under eyes get super, super light. So that's why I don't put a highlighting color anymore on them. Like a bright highlighter. Because I feel like that actually is just accenting how much because when they get I don't know I guess I'm saying like when they get baggy looking to me doing like a more highlighter or translucent lighter under eye tone is not gonna work and as you guys can see I'm really just I put a lot not a lot I put a light amount on me and now I'm doing a lot of the dabbing because for me it's really about making sure it's blended and I guess that comes from growing up and going to high school in the 20s ends is that I felt like I did not blend my makeup whatsoever especially foundation that's like what I matter most and that's why I'm doing I really like these creamy ones because they're light they're easy no difficult, nothing on them. And let's see. I also I have my travel kit. This is I always leave my makeup in my travel kit, and then I have a few extra things that I have here at home. But for me, the travel kit is like the way to go. Just because I feel like it also it puts everything in my face, and then when I travel. I have, I would say a lot because a lot of people have smaller travel kits than this, but for me, because I travel so much and it's not just like getting on a plane or driving 12 hours, but really it's because I also, I'm just on the go city to city a lot. So I just want to make sure that I always have everything that I want. And that way I tell myself it doesn't help with overconsumption or it helps me not over consume. 
but who knows if it does. I think I'm gonna wear my stainless steel that I've been playing with. Okay, we're not really doing anything crazy. We're gonna do mascara and then lipstick and we are done. I am not, this if you were looking for like one of those cakey foundation tutorials, this is not it. As again, this is not a tutorial on makeup either. It's just a hangout with me day. And look at that. Okay, maybe you can't see. I don't know, but whenever you upload on camera, I'm like, oh, I can see a little bit more of what I was talking about, but... This is the, and I never usually go for, how do I say it? I never go for usually like brand designer products. Like well, this is a Chanel mascara here, but usually I'm go, if I go to the mall or like a makeup stand, I go for like the higher end makeup options, but I don't usually go for like a Gucci or Chanel. I don't know if Gucci does makeup. I know Chanel has a full makeup line because I bought a few of their products. I bought a couple Tom Fords and I've even tried like the really high end like Guerlain. Guerlain, I wish that I could seriously love their lip, um, not lip smacker, but like they have a, I have it too, I just don't want to pull it out, but they have a like a base bomb that you can put on it and whatever scent is in there, it just ruins my lips and makes them just feel even worse and so does the Laneige one. I don't know what the two ingredients are in there but they react with my lips in a way that doesn't work. So generally when it comes down to certain things there are certain brands I know I really like like when it comes to the powders I've been using like the Urban Decays but this Chanel mascara this one is I think like a lengthening mascara and Too Faced has been like my reigning mascara forever that like that sexy big sexy mascara that they have but this one has I think it's like those little fibers that some advertise as that can like help elongate your lashes and this totally does that now I really liked those extensions that I got the extensions are great, but what I feel like I need to work on is finding an even better glue, like maybe more of a medical grade or something different because I've, I don't know why, I just feel like I'm, and it happens whether I do it professionally or not, but I just always end up losing a couple lashes initially and I just want to find the ultimate glue that until I put the dissolver on, it doesn't do anything. I didn't do my bottom lashes. We're going to do that real quick. But as you guys can see here, this is really, these days I'm a lot more about simple and doing it. And obviously when I talk, it makes these things take longer. But I am totally about, if I can make my makeup routine in under five minutes, that is pretty much the goal these days. And I'm really, I have my different colored cream foundations and I have about five shades because I travel so much too that I'll end up getting really tan, stop traveling for a bit, get really light. So I have my cream ones, which, are, oh, that's not it. Let me show you guys. These are my cream ones by Bobbi Brown. And then I also do like the Marriott ones, but the Bobbi Brown, I would say three times better. I don't know what it is and what kind is this? This is the Golden Honey Skin Foundation Stick. I don't know what it is about the Bobbi Brown one. The formula's on point. It actually distributes the Merit. What I would say is if I really want something super duper light, then I'll use the Merit. But the Merit, and I don't know, this stick might not show it. These foundation sticks break up super easy too. Not that you should be doing it all the way up there, but let's be realistic. What is the average person going to want to do? Try to get the most maximization out of what they do. So that is pretty much it. We do lipstick next real quick I'm gonna skip the lip liner just because I feel like this lipstick this is the Mac one and this is in rosemary powder kiss velvet blur slim stick I like these slim sticks
Perfect. I love this. See this color? This is my favorite <clears throat> color. I don't know if Rosemary's Clown it is this, but like these not bright red, but not pink, like right in between. Those are my colors. All right, guys. So today, just comb my hair out. I am going to, as I said, Oakland. We are getting stuff done. I don't know if this vlog would go up before or after because this weekend gets really crazy busy. But I guess that means even the weekend of the Emerald Cup wouldn't come up till later. This is going to go up on probably the Hattie channel. Because it's been a while since I've just, I don't even know if I've done like just a sit down like this and get ready with you guys. But I've pretty much reorganized. This is not, the background hasn't changed. This is just my getting ready. My Canna background, my 42710 background is going nowhere. But because I didn't know what intention of this was, I just thought I wanted to sit down, film, get ready, and just do like a really true get ready. And let me tell you guys, my hair is not going to be this straight. It's going to get wavy. But I got this magic Korean perm because I do have this like really crazy wavy hair that I just, I was never taught to like how to truly take care of like a half curl, half wave growing up. My mom either put her hair back into like the hot curlers or straightened her hair. And a lot of times I preferred to straighten my hair. And if I was going to curl it, I would straighten it all the way and then curl it and I thought this is just not the way and in recent years I've stopped dyeing my hair I've just been letting it grow out instead of doing anything to it so it has now to me like this beautiful beautiful length to it but this has helped me out so much so I can get it pinned straight and to stay like this if I use the right products but a lot of times I just run around and throw a serum in my hair it's going to keep my hair to the point where it has like a nice little wave when it dries, but it's not so wavy that it becomes poofy. A Korean straight perm has been magical. And the person I chose to, I did a lot of research. I went down to LA because they travel up and down. I couldn't find what I wanted in NorCal or I just haven't looked hard enough. And I really connected with this one hairstylist at the shopping center I go to all the time. So I went to him, he did my hair and he does it based on what he thinks is gonna work for your hair and doesn't over treat it. He'd rather you come back in six months to a year and keep doing maintenance on your hair than doing something crazy huge or going all out, which I appreciate someone who doesn't say, you need to go do all 10K of this treatment and it's gonna happen. Instead he's like, let's just do a simple. So we did basically a light perm. So that way I still have the integrity of some of my waves in my hair but it doesn't like pin straight straight in it because of like the face shape I have. But that's pretty much all. We're going to Oakland. This is, we're going to like the hood. We are not going to somewhere fun and safe like an antique shop or a lounge or something fun and magical. We're going to the hood. And I am genuinely like, why do we keep doing this and forcing ourselves? Wasn't my event to force on, but you know. That's what I mean. It's just like practicality too of making sure people want to feel safe and go where they want to go. Anyways, let's go ahead and get on to Oakland. I'll take you guys on this adventure and show you guys as much as I can of it. What's up guys? What is that? Let's hit that. Okay. We are in the Bay Area on the Oakland-Berkeley border and a lot of times in the news you get a lot of the bad stuff about what's going on here and I'm not denying it. After we finish up, we are going to be in some of the bad areas of Oakland when we drive through so I will show you guys that but today I saw as I was driving and I'm going to flip it around for you guys one of the best views of San Francisco and it's so clear look this is literally one of the best views I've seen so over there where is it let me see in my thing so right over there that's where the Golden Gate Bridge is and then you can see like all the piers in the wharf so we're gonna go over and walk to that just one second Okay, 
we're gonna walk to the end right there. Anywhere else I would not ever think of abandoning my car in Oakland, but I know there's a cop literally at the corner right here who just pulled someone over, so not that that's gonna save me if someone smashes my window, but that's why I was like, one second, I have to put on my backpack, make sure my laptop's in there, cell phone, so if they do smash my window while I'm out here, which unfortunately could, it's like a one out of 30 chance, so I'm not gonna deny that could happen. Um, just helping ensure that I have the things I want and need. So we are walking down this area, and this is so beautiful right here. I can have a clear view with no one around me. This is crazy, especially in the Bay Area. There was a little family that walked through, but I was like, let's stop by and take a look. So I'm gonna flip it around for you guys. There's the Hilton Garden Inn. I think that was a Chevy's also on the water right there that is closing or recently closed. There is the marina and then you can clearly see San Francisco and all of the buildings right there and then the Golden Gate Bridge is right over here and I'm hoping in camera it translates a little better when I upload my Osmo Pocket 3 has a small screen so I'm not exactly seeing what's on here I can see where it is but I can't see how close in detail like you guys can see the bridge or the buildings and there's a bench And this is just a big rock wall that I walked down. Ooh, what's over there? There's another exit with like a Costco. I don't know if it's that one though. I think it would be one more exit up. What does this say? Point Emery. A small shoreline park located on northwestern edge of Emeryville. Point Emery is a popular place for kiteboarding, kayaking, and paddleboarding access of the San Francisco Bay. Pedestrians and cyclists use this tiny point as a place of respice. Respice or respite? Respite. <laughs> I was like, what's respice? Let's start that over. Pedestrians and cyclists use this tiny point as a place of respite while enjoying the many natural resources found along the Bay Trail. In partnership with multiple public agencies and with the support of the Emeryville community and the city commenced a project to restore Point Emery in 2022, including riprap installation, soil stabilization, habitat protection, a graded footpath, benches, and ADA access consistent with the city's goal of being a leader on climate action. Please leave no trace of your visit here, but take as many photographs and memories of your time here with you when you go. Dedicated on December 1st, 2022, by the mayor and city council of the city of Emeryville not know there would be a little plaque right here. I'll do a little 360 for you guys. I love this. And I always do this. If there's like 15 minutes I can take out of my day just to like have a good time, I will do it. And relax and just like catch something fun. Got the mountains going that way. It goes to Marin and Richmond. And you can see... I don't know if that's more of... No, that's like a pier out there. You can't see the... You can! It's going to be very hard, but there is the Richmond Bridge right over there. Then we have the Golden Gate. And I don't think you can see the Bay Bridge from this side, but that would be the next bridge on the left behind all those boats in the pier and then that's San Francisco right up there. Let's see if I can maybe zoom in. There we go. I think now you guys can get a better view of San Francisco and the buildings. And then the Golden Gate Bridge is over here on the right. What an amazing view. Okay. And not to turn this into any sort of documentary, but I just want to put a reality on not everything in the Bay Area is this beautiful all the time, but there is a lot of beauty and there is a lot of serenity and hope and chances out here. And there are places 
where you can be safe and have a beautiful look at the view. And I can't believe that I got that look of the view right, like of the bay right there. I almost want to take a picture with my phone and just like capture this moment real quick just to see if maybe I can see it even better. I feel like the Osmo Pocket 3 though has like one of the best views that I could get. But I'm just gonna do the phone photo. Let's see. Oh yeah, I should have a really good view for you guys in the Osmo Pocket 3. That is San Francisco. And then that right there, that is the Golden Gate Bridge. This is one of the best viewpoints that we get up. Oh yeah, I should have a really good view for you guys in the Osmo Pocket 3. That is San Francisco. And then that right there, that is the Golden Gate Bridge. This is one of the best viewpoints you could get of it. All right, this is it. This is Emeryville. Okay, we are gonna jump back in the car now and hop off to the Kaiser Center. The Kaiser Center is where Emerald Cup is being held this year. And it is also open to the public, I think both days. The award show is gonna be Sunday. So I'm super happy. Everything's falling into place. And I shouldn't say that because some stuff could happen, you never know. But we're gonna walk back. This is my path of going back. And that's the freeway we're going to be going this way, which is south right now. And there is someone now here. They are alone by themselves, so I'm assuming everyone does what I do too. They just wait until you're done so that they can enjoy their little walk and video. Oh, someone has their puppy here too. That little beach I recorded down there. Oh my gosh. I wonder if my keychains are gonna be annoying, but that beach I recorded down there is really nice. I just didn't want to go down there and get my shoes dirty. I didn't wear shoes to go down there. I know, that's why I stopped. I was like, I need to come check this place out. Yeah. Especially seeing the Golden Gate Bridge so clear. Okay. Okay, we're here for the Emerald Cup setup. I don't know where we're going yet, but I'm gonna figure it out. And this is where I see people walking too, so we're just gonna go see. I think that's where we go. It's a historical building, they're reorganizing it. I think it's the first event here in a while, so I think everything is getting cleaned out. So we're going to see what it looks like. Going to. It's probably these black curtains. Yeah. Okay, I see. Wow, I'm gonna show you this. Wow, this is the arena. Look how old school those seats are. Oh. Okay, 131. That's where the call you booth is. I don't know where it's all numbered. And um, just to get the bleachers so here, they're like, oh no. This is like the craziest big arena ever. I should be here, I think, in a second on this side over here. It's on the bathroom, which is on the other side of the building. I took the longest possible way to get to it. But it is set up time. I vlog it all. 
and I'm trying to remember to get all these moments because I always forget everything. All right, back to us. This is the outside. This building, you can tell, is very beautiful. I'll look up the history specs and maybe add something in. All right, all I needed to do was check where we park tomorrow. My hair is looking crazy. Got the parking pass. Oh, my hair's looking a lot brighter. And the bright sun, it just like has this brown. But everywhere else it looks like dark brown black. So now we're gonna go back in, give Armanda's car key. And then we're pretty much set for today. Tomorrow we'll finish doing the rest of our setup. Oh, it's nicer in here. And they're gonna have water on top. Oh, you know what I need? I have to go and get a water bottle. I wanna get a hydro flask because I left mine in Hollywood. I have a Stanley, but I think it's, it's not my preference. All right, back in to the vendor hall. So, where is this one? So, go through a different hall. There's three hallways you can go through tomorrow on Sunday. <coughs> and we're gonna walk through all of them. This is taking all the confidence in me, guys, to do this. Okay. All right, let's go. Found the guys again. They're finishing setting up now. And we're gonna go get some food and do a little adventure out here while we're in Oakland and Berkeley. 